What is the primary goal of an incident response plan in an organization's security operations? Is it A to prevent all security incidents from occurring? Is it B to define roles and responsibilities for handling security incidents effectively? Is it C to secure network communications or is it D to centralize authentication servers? In our five seconds. And the correct answer is B, to define roles and responsibilities for handling security incidents effectively. An incident response plan outlines how to detect, respond, and to recover from security incidents during defining roles and responsibilities. And for the incorrect answers, to prevent all security incidents from occurring, prevention is a different aspect of cybersecurity. To secure network communications, security communications are part of incident handling, but not the primary goal of a plan. And to centralize authentication services, authentication is unrelated to incident response planning. And for the next question of our exam, question number two. And the question states, in the context of security operations, what is the primary purpose of, a, of an SIEM, or Security Information and Event Management System? Is it A, to prevent all security incidents? Is it B, to automate software deployment? Is it C, to collect, analyze, and correlate uh, security events from various sources? Or is it D, to allocate budget resources for cybersecurity? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is C, to collect, analyze, and correlate security event data from various sources. SIEM systems help organizations collect, analyze, and correlate security event data to detect and respond to incidents. And for the incorrect answers to prevent all security incidents, SIEM systems do not prevent incidents but help identify and respond to them. To automate software development, this is not the primary purpose of SIEM. And to allocate budget resources for cybersecurity, budget allocation is not the primary function of an SIEM system. And for the next question of our exam, question number three. And the question states, what is the primary goal of change management in security operations? Is it A, to prevent all changes to the network? Is it B, to document and control changes to network configurations and systems? Is it C, to encrypt sensitive data during transmission? Or is it D, to centralize authentication services? You now have five seconds. And the quick answer is B, to document and control changes to network configurations and systems. Change management ensures that changes are documented, controlled, and do not introduce security vulnerabilities. And for the incorrect answers, to prevent all changes to the network, preventing all changes in, is impractical, impractical and counterproductive. To encrypt sensitive data during transmission encryption is a different security concept. And to centralize authentication services, authentication is not the primary goal of change management. And for the next question of our exam, question number four. And the question states, in security operations, what is the primary purpose of patch management? Is it A, to secure network communications? Is it B, to ensure all employees receive proper training? Is it C, to identify and apply software updates and patches to address security vulnerabilities? Or is it D, to centralize data storage? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is C, to identify and apply software updates and patches to address security vulnerabilities. Patch management focuses on keeping systems up to date and secure by addressing known vulnerabilities. And for the incorrect answers to secure network communications, network security is a different aspect of cybersecurity to ensure all employees receive proper training. Employing training is not the primary goal of patch management. And to centralize data storage, data storage is unrelated to patch management. And for the next question of our exam, question number five. And the question states, in security operations, what is the primary objective of a honey net? Is it A, to prevent all network attacks? Is it B, to de detect and analyze suspicious network activity by luring attackers? Is it C, to centralize authentication services? Or is it D, to encrypt sensitive data during transmission? And have five seconds. And the correct answer is B, to detect and analyze suspicious network activity by luring attackers. Honey nets are designed to attract honey, uh, attackers and gather information about the ta tactics and techniques. And for the incorrect answers, to prevent all network attacks, prevention is not the primary goal of honey nets. To centralize authentication services, authentication serv services are unrelated to honey nets. And to encrypt sensitive data during transmission, encryption is a different security measure. And for the next question of our exam, question number six. And the question states, well, in security operations, what is the primary purpose of a sandbox? Is it A, to filter and control access to websites and web content? Is it B, to monitor users' activities on a network? Is it C, to segment the network into virtual lands? Or is it D, to isolate and execute potential malicious code in a controlled environment? In another five seconds.
And the quick answer is D, to isolate and execute potentially malicious code in a controlled environment. Sandboxes provide a controlled environment to test and analyze potentially harmful code without risking the main system. And for the correct answers to filter and control access to websites and web content, this describes web filtering, not sandboxing. To monitor user activities on a network, user monitoring is a different function. And to segment the network into virtual LANs, VLANs are unrelated to sandboxing. And for the next question our exam, question number 7. And the question states, in security operations, what is the primary goal of continuous monitoring? Is it A, to eliminate all security incidents? Is it B, to perform regular penetration tests? Is it C, to detect and respond to security incidents in real time? Or is it D, to centralize authentication services? You now have 5 seconds. And the quick answer is C, to detect and respond to security incidents in real time. Continuous monitoring involves real-time monitoring of network and system activity to detect and respond to incidents promptly. And for the incorrect answers to eliminate all security incidents, eliminating all incidents is not realistic. To perform regular penetration tests, penetration tests are separate from continuous monitoring. And to centralize authentication services, authentication is unrelated to continuous monitoring. And for the next question our exam, question number 8. And the question states, what is the primary purpose of a security incident report in security operations? Is it A, to prevent all security incidents? Is it B, to document the details of a security incident, including its impact and the actions taken to mitigate it? Is it C, to encrypt sensitive data during transmission? Or is it D, to centralize data storage? You now have 5 seconds. And the correct answer is B, to document the details of a security incident, including its impact and the actions taken to mitigate it. Incident reports provide a detailed account of security incidents and the response, response efforts. And for the incorrect answers, to prevent all security incidents, reporting does not prevent incidents. To encrypt sensitive data during transmission, encryption is a different security measure. And to centralize data storage, data storage is unrelated to incident reporting. And for the next question for exam, question number 9. And the question states, in security operations, what is the primary goal of security awareness training for employees? Is it A to develop advanced technical skills among employees? Is it B to educate employees about cybersecurity risk and best practices? Is it C to enforce strict access control policies? Or is it D to secure network communications? You now have 5 seconds. And the correct answer is B, to educate employees about cybersecurity risks and best practices. Security awareness training aims to make employees aware of cybersecurity risks and educate them on how to mitigate them. And for the correct answers, to develop advanced technical skills among employees, developing te technical skills is not the primary goal of awareness training. To enforce strict access control policies, access control policies are separate from awareness training. And to secure network communications, network security is a different aspect, aspect of cybersecurity. And for the last question of our exam, question number 10. And the question states, in security operations, what is the primary purpose of data loss prevention or DLP technology? Is it A, to encrypt all data? Is it B, to centralize data storage? Is it C, to prevent unauthorized access to sensitive data and detect and block data leaks? Or is it D, to allocate budget resources for IT projects? And now, five seconds. And the correct answer is C, to prevent unauthorized access to sensitive data and detect and block data leaks. DLP technology aims to prevent data breaches by identifying and preventing unauthorized access to sensitive data. And for the incorrect answers to encrypt all data, encryption is a different security measure. To centralize data storage, data storage is not the primary focus of DLP. And to allocate budget resources for IT projects, budget allocation is unrelated to DLP technology. Ladies and gents, this is the end of our exam. If and only if you found this video informative, make sure to drop a like and share it with your friends. I hope you found this video informative and I'll see you guys next time.